Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, maybe... It's good that this guy... Yeah, yes. Stop the... Yeah. Stop, 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 stop! Try to convince people to stop um, harming animals with their food choices, mainly. Most animals are butchered and killed so people can eat their body parts. Some of them in graceful ways and some horrible ways. A graceful way? Have you ever seen anyone be killed in a graceful way? Mm, I feel like any answer I give you is not going to be a good one. Well, uh, it's, it's just a, I mean, it's not a trick question. I'm just asking, have you ever seen anyone be killed in a graceful way? Anyone? Yeah, animals are someone, so... Would you agree? They're not things. Well, they're not things. They're living human beings. They're, they're sentient human beings. beings. They're sentient beings. I yeah. agree with that. Yeah, so if they are a being, they're, then yeah. they're someone. There's a personality inside of there. They want to live. They have de desires and wants and needs. Mm -hmm. They're not things like an object or... Well, I'm not like here a... to argue. Oh, well, I'm it's not... I'm, I'm not even arguing. I'm just... Know, just we're having like a conversation. How is it being aggressive? Because I understand what you're saying. I well, appreciate your opinion. Well, we're just discussing whether or not animals are things. I mean, we're animals, human beings are animals. Do you agree? There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. All right, here we are in Portugal. This is the main city, Lisbon. This is the center. And in the middle here, we have a circle of silence. They're showing images of farming and animal agriculture. So they're actually doing this action out the front of Burger King here. Very fitting place. They're selling corpse burgers. I don't even know if they do a vegan burger in there, but. Out of my way, I'm gonna do this, you are not involved. Never too late, time to level up and buy it all. Need to go play, put me in it, you know I'm a boss. I could never crawl, I ain't got no time at all Out of my way, I'ma do this, you are not involved Never too late, time to level up and buy it all Need to go play, put me in it, you know I'm a ball I can never crawl, I ain't got no time at all Even though you're not technically causing any more harm It's a representation You're representing everything yeah. you stand against But it's mm -hmm. the dilemma, it's against, like the representation in spending money on other clothes. You have, have you met a pet, uh, an yeah, animal that you like, I a do dog? I a relation with... With a dog? Uh, yeah, not mine, but yeah. Okay, what's the dog's name? Uh, Kimba. Kimba, you like the Kimba. Yeah. Imagine if <laughs> Kimba Shepherd. was shot, killed, skinned, yeah, I do turned into a pair of shoes, going. and the damage was done. Kimba was a pair of shoes, okay? Yeah. Would you wear those shoes? That represented Kimba's last moments in a slaughterhouse, I mean, a violent death? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but that's a bit different. How? If I, I wouldn't um, wear the skin of someone because of what it represents and that it's actually someone who was yeah. murdered in a slaughterhouse and they, they struggled for their life. I just, it would haunt me. It would make me feel disturbed. Kimba, huh? If Kimba was a pair of shoes. So we got up at about 2.30 a.m. this morning, so I'm noticeably tired and Sometimes it's difficult when you're on outreach to maintain a certain level of, you know, chirpy energy when you're so tired. So it's been a long day, a long night, and you can only try your best in the moment. Trying your best, eh? Try my best, mate. All right, apparently there's a lot of vegan stuff in this shop. Let's go have a look. This is, um, it's like some vegan sausage or something. Blocks and blocks of Satan. Satan is wheat meat. You can cut these into burgers. Vegano, smoked tofu. Some fruit. Doesn't smell like a slaughterhouse in here. Here we go, here we go. This is uh, soya yogurt. Vegan sausage. It's dairy free cheese. Vegan ham. Check out the vegan cornettos. They got heaps of vegan stuff in here. Hello. <sighs> Oh, all right.
I'm gonna have something to eat and then I've got a speech in a couple of hours to 100 people about vegan activism. Doing a quite a simple dinner tonight. Got a bag of salad, a can of black beans, a box of tomatoes. I'm gonna put it all in a bowl. Yeah, tonight's a healthy dinner. Oh, look at that. These tomatoes. Just a couple on there, don't wanna overcrowd the plate. I wonder if this juice is salty. It heaps nice though. A bit of the juice might be good as well. All right, so that's what we got. I'm gonna show you a little trick. I brought this travel nutritional yeast. You've probably seen it in previous episodes. Just give it a sprinkle. We don't have much of this, it's gold dust. Adola's got some sauce, so that's gonna be our dressing. Look at that. The sauce is what sets it off, really. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. how are you? Hello. Hello, everyone. Who's first vigil? Wow, that's really good. It's good that you come, because that's the first step, just coming in. If you feel like expressing emotion, don't have to hold it in. It's okay, we all understand. All right, so this slaughterhouse here, they slaughter 1,800 pigs a day. So that's nearly 14,000 a week. That is a lot of pigs. They, they supposedly we have to stop there because that's a uh, way station. really young, like even five months old, they're just covered in dirt, terrified, and they're going in there to be butchered. Okay, so behind us here, this is like a weigh station for the trucks. It's just crazy that they're weighing these sentient slaves like they are products. Just completely money-driven. No regard of the animals inside. They treat them like property, like products, just money. That's it, the slave trade. It's a beautiful countryside, eh? It's a shame there's a hellhole on the hill. Beautiful Portuguese countryside, tainted with the smell of murder. You know what's uh, actually quite insane? Is that these pigs come in covered in their own feces, smelling so bad. If the food you eat defecated all over themselves out of fear before they died, I wonder how that doesn't disturb people. So there's a cesspool over there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's have a look. Okay, so behind me here is like a treatment plant where all the, the waste from the slaughterhouse, the blood and the feces, the urine, everything gets washed down into these big cesspools over here and they're treated with chemicals and then apparently it's pumped back out into the sewage. There's so much waste because of animal agriculture, so much feces. Uh, these cesspools are toxic, they run out into oceans and streams. Disgusting, there's some seagulls hanging around, probably getting chunks of whatever they can. It's just a big, disgusting cancer on this beautiful countryside. With me? On the camera, or are you too shy? You don't have no, to. No, it's up no, to you. No, it's up I'm to not you. Shy. Oh, actually, maybe we can do <laughs> yes. There we go. Can you, um, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. And this is your first time at a vigil, yeah? Yes. And you were upset before? Can you explain, like, what, I what felt. you felt? Um, it happened so fast. Um, yeah. I felt the urge to uh, take them out of the truck yeah. and take them home. Take them home with me, powerless. Helpless. Helpless. Yeah. 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 And yeah. really, really, really sad. Really sad for them. Okay. Do you believe that you're helpless, though? No. Yeah. No, That's I finally cool. understand what. Vigils are full. Are full. Yeah, because you can take that emotion and you can transmute it into your advocacy, yeah? Yes. And you can take your pictures and you can show them to people and you can tell their story for them and that's the best thing we can do. Yes, you definitely. Can, yeah, so good. Can I have a hug, please? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really proud that you came out. Okay. Yeah, so the empty trucks come out and there's just the pigs crap all the way down the side of the truck. Comes out empty and they're all probably stabbed to death by now. So they're doing the old telling the trucks not to stop trick, but we've got a trick of our own. It's called the car trick. Stop, 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 stop!
They're, they're so making sure no one gets yeah. to see pigs. Yeah. He's, 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 he's literally escorting the trucks in. Yeah. That's how desperate they are. I don't, I don't think we should continue. I don't think there's any benefit to us being out here anymore. And I think it's just best we let them calm down now and... Yeah, this is only going to escalate. They don't even want to let us see the animals for f***ing 30 seconds, man. 30 f***ing seconds. What's the f***ing big deal? You're stabbing them to death anyway. Where's the umbrella, man? I'm going to try to go to maybe debrief the activists. I don't know, I reckon we will probably get the camera in the car soon in that, eh? And yeah, get going. Yeah. Alright, so we're just in the back of the taxi. We just finished a quite an intense vigil, actually. It's piercing down with rain. And we decided to stop off and do a quick workout, get some food. Is it here? This is animals on the front. Hello, everyone. Hello, Portugal. Not only are we speaking to non-vegans, but we are traveling all around the world doing workshops to vegans, encouraging them to be activists and giving them the tools and skills they need to be activists. Because you can turn one person vegan, okay, and you've helped um, a certain amount of animals, but if you turn them into a vegan activist, they're turning people vegan for the rest of their life, okay? And you can influence thousands and thousands and more, more by turning someone into an activist. And that's the next level, and that's why we're seeing so much activism online and across the world. If they can't agree that stabbing cows for burgers is wrong, why would you have a moral discussion about backyard eggs with them? When you view eggs as food, that is what creates the demand and that's why animals are in that mess because we view eggs as food, as a product. Like, I can't believe the, the, the things that have happened just on having a, an intention and an, an unwavering belief that it's possible. I picture in my mind like the outcome was amazing before it even happened. Thank you, my friend. Thanks for all your help. All right, so we've been up since about 2.30 a.m. It's now about 11 p.m. and just finished doing a workshop, speaking to everyone, um, saying goodbye. And then that's Portugal done. But for now, it's bedtime. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. Yeah, so uh, I'm really sick and really tired and we've got about 10 activists waiting out the front of this slaughterhouse here. One of the most horrible things is animals waiting to be killed. Disgusting cesspool of blood, violence, fear, feces in a beautiful forest on the Portuguese hillside where Animals are struggling right now, gargling on their own blood, being chopped up into pieces so people can have ham with their eggs in the morning. Disgusting. They sit at home thinking their flesh just appeared magically in a package, when really they were murdered in this torture warehouse.